God damn, it's cold. Hotter than sin, and I have to sweat this nonsense out. It just don't seem right. Huh? I thought Frankie had you all running money. Oops, They've got our fault. thoughts and prayers, but that's about as far as it goes. I can't get involved. I can't get my family involved in this nonsense. Go check Not this out. Gotcha. I could have served better than any man who's ever put on a uniform. Not sure what that was. That gym was a piece of the city's history. Where do you get off to? Just a pile of burnt bricks. Got you. Check for Let's go! Fire! Fire! Pin him down! I was fucking born for this! We all get a piece of it! Stupid son bitch. Let's go! So what? 
You gonna kill me now? Good idea. I'm downtown. Need some help securing it. Hmm. Okay. I expect this is gonna cause some trouble with Burke. The last time we met, he didn't seem to be in the mood to accept anything less than a district. I'm of two minds when it comes to Lincoln's legacy. On the one hand, he was a... We're gonna gather some folks together this weekend and head on down to join the protest. How are you, sir? Truth is, it probably Just won't change say, much. My mother would be so proud of me and everything we're doing here. I would have to leave Last evening, Negro youths ran wild in Washington, D.C., committing brazen acts of vandalism. A police car was hit with rocks, and windows were shattered on each street. Earlier that evening, five policemen and three civilians were hired, following a concert by James Brown. Six people were arrested in connection with that outbreak. How did you manage to get to Tony DeRazi? When you're in the hotel, grab a couple of those little fancy soaps. <laughs> they won't give me any more at the motel. I was gone for a minute. Tony wouldn't mind. Mr. DeRazio, how long you been here? A month? Mr. DeRazio ain't the same. Pull him off me! I said we'd try that area.
called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. So I gotta hear stories about some some bitch running all over the goddamn place, smashing our shit to pieces. I wanna know what the fuck's going on down there. You hear me? It would be difficult not to. What? I've already taken the appropriate steps to address the situation. Believe me, things are well in hand. Well, they fucking better be. If this thing with the judge goes sideways, shit's gonna roll downhill real fucking quick. We haven't lost anything of any significance except for some men, and they can be replaced. In fact, they're the easiest thing to replace. Saul doesn't give two shits about any of those stupid fucks. All he cares about is the people that matter. Understand? I understand completely. And you have my word that all payments will continue as scheduled. None of our business associates need to concern themselves with our recent difficulties. Yeah? Okay. I'm counting on you here, Tony. Don't fuck this up. Goodbye. the rest of the day off. Okay, here's the thing, Congressman. When Mr. Durazio made his very generous contribution to your campaign, it was based... He got me! Uh, Come here, so trying to hide! Uh, 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 hand, you pal! Uh, can't kill all of us! Here, boy. Get me out of here! He's the whole team! Fuck, I need that. Get him off my back, goddammit! He's taking us off! Slip behind him!
<laughs> I see you. You certainly are audacious, aren't you? Filthy fucking mongrel. You really think you know how all this is gonna play out, don't you? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Go ahead. <coughs> Kill me. I'll be replaced tomorrow. <laughs> no one will even notice. You're wrong. Everyone will notice. <laughs> War on the streets of our fair city is a gunman stormed the Royal Hotel, killing an untold number of men. There was a loud crash, like a bomb going off. I looked up, and there was a man falling from the top of the building. Then all these men showed up, and every one of them had a gun. They ran into the Royal, and that's when the shooting started. <laughs> I still don't know how the hell Lincoln got out of that hotel. He's got 18 months left on his bid at Cordoba. Keep your guns on that goddamn elevator. Get up and see if he's still in there. Excuse me. Hey there. Hey, baby. Hit the dike! Oh, grenade! It's a goddamn... Oh, oh, shit! Oh, shit. Yes. Grenade! Over there, shoot him for fuck's sake. Oh, Out of ammo! I've got to reload! No, fucking hide! No, no! Oh, oh, run. Run. oh shit. Run. Got any downtown cops in our pocket? Gotcha. You and I are on the line here, Lincoln, and I'm expecting good things. I don't give a flying fuck who has what rockets. This turf, it's mine, goddammit, and I won't accept anything else. 
and ask you to be patient, Burke, and give everyone a chance to weigh in on this. I'm sorry Burke is pissed off. Really, I am. But Lankin, you called in my men to lock this turf down for you, and it'd be a slap in the face if you tried to take it away. This here's a win-win for me. If you give Burke the district, he shuts his Irish mouth. If you don't, we get to kill him. What's not to love about that? You got one more round in the chamber. Last chance. No turning back from this one. I never meant for you to think I was taking advantage of you or our history, Burke. This part of the city is coming to you, and I hope this squares us up. Christ, lad. You had me nearly shitting myself. Thank you for honoring our partnership here. Now get ready, because we're about to make a hell of a lot of money together. Twice now you've ruined my pleasant disposition. You're better off not going for a third. Uh, uh, whatever. I ain't got the patience with stupid shit like this right now. We'll talk later. Get on out of here. Police are intensifying their search for the colored male believed to be responsible for the massacre at the Royal Hotel. The suspect is described as six feet three inches and is believed They're to be saying armed. you threw Tony off the roof of the Royal? Actually, it was through his penthouse window. You always had a flair for the dramatic. Tony's legend. Last couple pages are pretty interesting. Any idea what US 5CJ means? Wait a minute. Holy shit. Why is Lou willing to comp 10 grand a month at a brothel and the same at a drug den? Based on what Greco told me in Scaletta, Marcano's laying out a bunch of money to get gambling legalized. And if that's what you're after, who better to have in your pocket? than a judge on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, US 5CJ. Exactly. There have to be over 20 judges on that bench. Could be any one of them. The kind of man we're talking about isn't used to people getting into his business. I start visiting the places listed in that ledger, he'll panic and go to Lou for help. And that's when we'll find out who he is. Keep that wiretap running. Never turn it off. <laughs> 